Hi everyone, this is John Girardi with Right to Life of Central California, and this is the Right to Life Minute. Earlier this week, outside Fresno City Hall, I delivered a speech as part of a press conference organized by Fresno City Councilman Gary Bredefeld. Uh, Mayor Dyer was in attendance also, opposing a proposed Fresno City Council resolution to honor abortion rights and call upon the city uh, to work to advance legal abortion rights in its capacity governing the city of Fresno. I spoke against this. The city council uh, had uh, wound up withdrawing this resolution from consideration, in no small part, I believe, thanks to your efforts uh, calling your city councilman and expressing your political opposition to it. Uh, we're going to play the video of my speech to explain what this council resolution would have done and why it's so important for us to oppose things like this. You can catch uh, more about this topic on Right to Life Radio every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. on Power Talk 96.7 and AM 1400. And uh, you can catch the show on Apple Podcasts or the Stitcher Podcast app. And you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash right to life CA. Here's my speech from this past Tuesday. God bless. Hope you enjoy it. Mayor Dyer, Councilman Bredefeld, uh, distinguished guests, thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. As a lawyer and as the director of Right to Life of Central California, I just want to kind of give all of you a sense of the magnitude of what this would do. I think one reaction we have is that this is for show. This is a silly resolution that doesn't do anything. As the mayor says, it doesn't build a road, it doesn't do anything. But it does establish something. First of all, it symbolically states that we, the city of Fresno, support legalized abortion. And that's something, and that is something big. This city council makes statements in support of good things. We honor victims of the Armenian Genocide. We honor all kinds of things that maybe the city council can't do something about, but we stand for what's right and we oppose what is wrong. Yeah. And for the city to simply, oh, it's just symbolic. Why are you pro-lifers upset? No, symbols mean things. And the civic stances that a city takes, those have a big impact on public morals and public beliefs. So we should vigorously oppose this, even if it's just a resolution, even if it's not doing something, it's something that we should oppose firmly and vigorously. Beyond that, this resolution would establish a legislative precedent for this city and for this city council. If this were to pass, and thank God we have Mayor Dyer, who would be willing to veto this and prevent that from happening. But if this were to pass, going forward, this city could then point to this as a legislative precedent. If, for example, what if Planned Parenthood wants to bend some zoning rules to establish a new abortion facility? What if the city wants to, what if Planned Parenthood comes forward wanting a contract with the city? What if some other way in which the city, maybe in its local governmental capacities, might want to partner with abortion providers? The members of this council could point to this resolution and say, this is established as a precedent of this council. We support abortion rights. We should cooperate with these things. So it's, it doesn't do nothing. It would establish a very bad legislative precedent. And again, this is a reason to firmly and vigorously oppose this. The language of this resolution was also very carefully crafted. I doubt that Esmeralda Soria or Miguel Arias you know, rolled out of bed one morning and just you know, <laughs> typed this up on their laptop. This language is incredibly specific. It perfectly ties in with the legislative language used by pro-choice advocates throughout this state, this state calling for the recognition of the right to access abortion. Gary Bredefeld just mentioned in his little talk uh, at the start of this about how you know we've gone from safe, legal, and rare. The pro-choice side doesn't use that phrase anymore. They say that abortion must be safe, legal, and universally accessible. Any barrier to abortion access must be knocked down. If you can't pay for it, the state should pay for it. No. If you can't get to an abortion clinic physically, then abortion pills should be shipped through the mail to you. That was a change that the FDA that President Man Biden just him. authorized. Nope. This perfectly ties in with Governor, the language of this resolution also perfectly ties in with Governor Newsom's desire to make California an abortion sanctuary state. Basically, what Governor Newsom wants is, first of all, he is afraid that Roe v. Wade will be overturned. And I am delighted that Roe v. Wade will be overturned. I believe we will see it this year. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, what Governor Newsom wants to do, his future of abortion counsel in California has promoted these legislative proposals 
basically to make California a magnet for abortion tourism, for people to fly to California just to have abortion, to get Medi-Cal coverage for out-of-state persons to have abortions in California, to pay for their travel, to pay for their lodging. These are all proposals that are gonna come before the California legislature this year, and this resolution perfectly dovetails with all of it. We should reject it completely out of hand. I'll end my remarks uh, just by mentioning, you know, Gary mentioned in his talk about the resources available to women in the city of Fresno for dealing with challenging circumstances of pregnancy. And I don't want anyone to take from this press conference that the people of Fresno are insensitive to the severe difficulties that people face. We have severe, defici severe deficiencies in provision of prenatal care in this city, particularly in rural parts of the valley, outside the city, in many parts of South Fresno. There aren't a lot of options for people either with Medi-Cal or without insurance to get prenatal care. We at Right to Life of Central California established a subsidiary corporation called the Obrea Medical Clinics of Central California. This is a brand new prenatal healthcare clinic. It's located at Fresno and Barstow. And the goal of this clinic is to bridge that gap, to provide the full range of prenatal care services from your initial ultrasounds all the way through delivery and postpartum care. This is what this community believes in. This community believes in love. Answering the difficulties that people face, whether it's with poverty, lack of access to health care, responding to it with love, and reaching out to women to offer them the resources they need. Women in this valley need prenatal care. They do not need abortion. They need love and support. They do not need abortion. And that's not just me talking. That is my army of women, volunteers, supporters, employees, my, all, my entirely female staff is at the Obrey Medical Clinics right now actually seeing patients and actually doing this work. So, uh, with all that said, thank you all for coming. Thank you to Mayor Dyer for your uh, support of us. Thank you, Gary, for organizing all of this. And thanks to all of you. Yeah.